time to get a little bit serious. I wanted to talk about this uh, respiratory illness that has been making so much news around the country. Here's the deal. I'm not going to make any judgments about how serious uh, the illness is. I, I've certainly heard of increased instances of pneumonia and things like that around our area. Uh, and, and so we've seen it. There's a lot of buzz out there. You know, when a, a story like this gets going in the media, unfortunately, there's a lot of hype about it. And it's everybody's kind of heard about it. And is it overblown? I don't know. I'm not going to say that it is or isn't. I think there's a lot unknown from everything we've seen reported from the American Vet Medical Association, the Wisconsin Vet Medical Association. You know, there's an awareness of it. They're trying to figure out if it's just a different strain of uh, respiratory disease, just like what happens with humans every year. Is that happening in dogs this year? And it's just a prolonged illness that can lead to more instances of pneumonia and, of course, be harmful to older dogs, maybe puppies. Sure. All that stuff's possible, but we just don't know yet. And, of course, I'm not a vet, a veterinarian. Uh, my wife is. I am not. We're not going to make any pronounced judgments. What we are going to do is share with you, as you can see on your screen here, if you're watching this, what we do at Unleashed. Okay, what do we do at Unleashed? And this is across the board, day in, day out, 24-7, 365. Ever since we took over, we have been sticklers about our cleaning protocol at Unleashed to try and prevent as much disease as possible. And that's really all you can do. I want to be very clear about this. There is always a risk, okay? There's always a risk when you bring your dog to a place where there's other dogs, just like there's always a risk when you go into public yourself. Whether you send your kids to school or preschool, daycare, whatever, we know that there's a risk. I have a 12-year-old daughter right now that from years two through four, maybe five in her life, was a giant snot ball. All she was was snot around the house 24-7, snot everywhere, right? Luckily, I, I shouldn't say luckily, I hope <laughs> it helped her immune system uh, in life. But if you're a parent of a human, you know that this happens. Uh, if you're a pet parent, it's the same thing, right? You, you just, it will happen from time to time. The benefits we feel of socialization, daycare, uh, having your dog be with other dogs, whether it's at the dog park or at our daycare, outweigh these risks by and large. However, an illness can certainly happen. So what do we do uh, at Unleashed? What do we do to try and prevent this? Well, here it is. Our entire facility is disinfected daily. Okay, we go through once a day and we did every surface mopping with uh, the right kind of cleaners, highly more, or much more powerful is what I'm trying to say than your uh, daily household cleaners. Okay, um, sometimes we mix in some bleach on a particularly bad day to make sure that we are getting all the germs killed across the entire facility. We also spray our kennels on the sidewalls to touch all surfaces that a dog's nose mouth will touch. Okay, so we spray and disinfect also with a disinfectant. We make sure that every surface gets disinfected every day at Unleashed. Okay, that's grade A number one thing that we do. We also have a UV light that we installed when we renovated into our HVAC system. These things are advertised to kill 99.9% .9 of bacteria. Okay, well, I don't know, but it is effective. We have it, and I can tell you that uh, I feel it's made a difference in our facility since we installed that UV light into our HVAC system. So all the air that circles and cycles through our indoor facility uh, gets touched by this UV light, and I think it's a positive thing. We also keep the air moving constantly at Unleashed. We have four giant fans that are mounted throughout the entire boarding facility room, and they oscillate and they move the air constantly. If you ever take a tour and you walk in, you'll see and hear them because they certainly make a little bit of noise too. Not overwhelming, but they're there and they're moving the air constantly. Uh, one Also, one other thing that we do uh, that is not on the list because I just honestly forgot to put it on till just now, uh, we have a... Uh, air exchange system that we run twice a day that completely exchanges the air. So we it, it moves the air and it added element moving air to the outside and, and the HVAC system brings the outside air back into the facility and we just exchange the air at least twice a day. Sometimes we leave that thing on all day. It just kind of depends. But uh, we exchange the air as well. So we move the air, we exchange the air, uh, we get it going for you so that uh, we have fresh air constantly moving throughout our facility. Uh, at Unleashed. Then there's the dog behavior stuff. Okay, no shared waters. Outside play deck, uh, inside, 
It's is a little easier during the winter because there's not as much of a thirst because it's not hot out. But we bring the dogs in, daycare dogs in, twice a day for a water break, and they get a chance to drink water, certainly if they are thirsty. And our boarding dogs have their own individual water uh, in their kennel 24-7. So they'll go out for a potty break and spend some time outside, but when they come back in, they have a refreshed individual water bucket in their kennel so that they are not sharing and sticking their mouths in the same water buckets uh, here at Unleashed. Our play decks are also spot cleaned and disinfected frequently so that we can disinfect and make sure those surfaces are getting cleared and cleaned as well. And uh, our pets, are, there's just the human element too in terms of watching our pets. They are monitored constantly. We do health checks when they come in and health checks before they leave. We uh, monitor how much they eat. We chart every day whether your dog has eaten or not. A partial eaten, fully eaten, if they have any type of behavior like any vomiting, diarrhea, anything like that in their kennel. We are checking that and writing it down on a chart every day. Every dog and cat has their own chart uh, for their stay. We compare notes. We highlight if there's any two consecutive meals where their behavior has changed. We're taking action right away. We're going to see if, one, we can get them to eat, if it's just an issue of like anxiety or whatever, and if they'll still have an appetite if we maybe add a little peanut butter or depending on the dog, you know, meat, uh, if that's the case, then we're still monitoring, but we think we're okay. If the ch behavior changes in a dog that eats a lot isn't eating, that's always a red flag. And we're going to alert you, the pet parent, and then we're going to take whatever steps that we all agree we need to take. Does the dog need to see a vet? Does the dog need uh, isolation? What do we need to do? We're going to monitor that, be 100% on it, and make sure that we are taking action uh, to care for your pet while they stay with us here at Unleashed. And then we also have isolation spaces spaces that are available. If during a boarding stay, uh, your dog starts to show signs of respiratory uh, distress, coughing, you know, coughing's the main one, but there's issues where they're hacking and coughing, uh, showing leth lethargy, you know, they're getting kind of tired. We're going to move them into an isolation space, of course, notifying you, the pet parent as well, and seeing what needs to happen. But we're going to remove any sick dogs from our overall group to isolate and make sure that we prevent uh, any disease, potential disease from spreading. If you come to daycare and you walk in the door and your dog is coughing and showing respiratory fatigue or, or whatever the case may be, we're going to send them home. We're going to send your dog home and, and that's just the way it's got to be to protect all of our pet population. The other thing that's not on the list here is vaccinations. We are doubly making sure right now that Every dog that steps foot at, at, into Unleashed is vaccinated. Rabies, distemper, uh, Bordetella. So distemper and Bordetella, the more respiratory issues. There are more, you know, the vaccines are not going to catch nearly everything, but they're going to do what they do, and we, we take all measures we can to prevent uh, all of these diseases from, from passing, and vaccinations are a big part of that. So there's still, as you know, if you get your flu shot as a human, you you can still certainly get sick with some respiratory junk over the winter. It happens to all of us. Hopefully the flu shot prevents the worst of it. That's the same thing in the in the canine world, uh, you know, and the cat world as well, that, that these uh, annual to, you know, every three years for distemper, whatever the, the cycle that your veterinarian has you on, they can help prevent these uh, diseases from spreading. So I just want to be very clear, that is what we are doing. I can't make any judgments, and of course there's always, I can't make any judgments uh, on the overall risk of the respiratory illness and how severe it is this winter. And as we go through at this time of year, we're just going to have to kind of see how that plays out. But we are extremely diligent at Unleashed about what we do and how we do it in terms of trying to keep everybody safe, uh, clean, disinfect, and watch behaviors in dogs. So just wanted to pass that along in terms of what we're doing to help prevent the spread and you know prevent all of this stuff from being brought into Unleashed. We do everything we possibly can.